both the Golden Knights and the Panthers vying for their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Mike, and, and when you take a look at this cup final, there's so many different storylines to dive into. When you look at it, who do you give the edge to in terms of just on paper, the stars of this series, the goaltenders, size it all up for us? Well, I think when you look at the absolute top end of the Florida Panthers, you're looking right at Barkov and Kachuk and looking at how they match up against Stone and Eichel, the Vegas Golden Knights. But there's a lot more to it than that because Stone and Eichel, they've been good over the course of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Eichel's probably a clubhouse leader for the Conn Smythe, but he only had four assists in the last series against the Stars. He didn't score once. So if that keeps up, and if Stone only has three points in the series against the Panthers, and Kachuk and Barkov just keep crushing, I think it might be advantage Florida. But the key factor here when you think about the Vegas Golden Knights is that they've got somebody in Will Carlson who's playing third-line center, but he's also been the best shutdown player 5-on-5 for me in the playoffs. So – how do Barkov and Will Carlson match up? Frank, that's a big question because Barkov's been a five-on-five five monster, man. Four of his five points, five-on-five, five, whereas Matthew Kachuk, he's just been Mr. Clutch, Mr. Power Play, Mr. Game-Winning Goal, Mr. Overtime. We'll get into goalies in a little bit. But I do think that if you look at Vegas collectively as a whole, they're deeper. But the star power of the Florida Panthers is the X factor that might carry them. Okay, I could get on board with that. And, you know, Kachuk and the Panthers' stars have been so good that we've really kind of lost sight of the fact that Brandon Montour, a guy who started the playoffs on an absolute tear with six goals in the first eight games that he played in the postseason, has gone the last eight games without a point for the Panthers. So my only question, Mike, is when push comes to shove, if the Golden Knights do a really good job and William Carlson, like you said, is able to shut down some of their big guns. How will they get goals? Where will they come from? Will someone like Montour be able to chip in again? That's a big question. Will the rest of that decor be able to keep up for the Florida Panthers? I know that the Carolina Hurricanes were looking with Radko Gudis and Mahura on the ice and licking their chops. That's where the turnovers happened. That's where the Hurricanes were able to get some of their odd man rushes. Yesterday we had John Goyens on the show, and he really highlighted about how um, the Panthers have to be good defensively, even in the offensive zone. Vegas is still a rush team, Frank. And five on five, that's Vegas's bread and butter. I do think the Panthers have relied more on special teams. So if this ends up being a low event type of hockey, it goes towards the Vegas Golden Knights in my book. Yeah, you mentioned William Carlson, my guy to keep an eye on for the Vegas Golden Knights, Riley Smith. He just has two goals in this postseason. He's the one who's been feeding Carlson for many of his. He has nine assists. But think back to the 2018 Stanley Cup Final, one of six original Golden Misfits still there in Vegas. Smith scored in three of those five Stanley Cup Final games yeah. against the Washington Capitals, a clutch player. And Frank, how about this? What team did Riley Smith and Jonathan Marcheseau come from to the Vegas Golden Knights? Florida Panthers. You got it, brother. The gift so, that keeps on giving on from Dale Talon. That's it. Well, Gerard Gallant wasn't, but uh, <laughs> aside from Turk, I mean, Marcheseau. I think I have, have Marcheseau. I'm picking him to be Vegas' uh, possible Conn Smythe winner. So he's okay. had a tremendous playoff as well. I like that. So let's talk about those goalies. This is maybe the most unlikely goalie matchup you could probably ever draw up at the start of the playoffs. No one would have predicted this. Neither guy started the playoffs as his team starter. Lauren Brassois, of course, uh, was for the Vegas Golden Knights before turning to Aiden Hill due to injury. Alex Lyon started the first three games for the Florida Panthers over the $10 million man in Sergei Bobrovsky. And Mike, both of these guys have been absolutely unconscious the last few weeks. Here's my only question. Because it was a 10-day layoff for the Florida Panthers... Bobrovsky was in a rhythm. Is there a chance that he just turns back into a pumpkin again for the Cats? <laughs> I don't think he was a pumpkin. I think he was more of a gourd. Uh, but here's the thing. like, I think the rest is going to be good because Bobrovsky is somebody that as soon as he gets weighed down with a heavy workload, you start to worry about injury. You start to worry about performance. I think it'll be good for him. Come on. Uh, I'm you, more, you, really I think, you really think, Mike, that at this point with all that layoff that – at the the issues and holes that we saw in Bobrovsky's game are they're just going to magically not reappear and he's going to be bulletproof that because he well, got he rest keeps... he can revert right back to what he was 
I th- I don't think it's reverting. I think it's con- a continuation. And don't forget that Florida's been better defensively in front of him over the last series and a half. I mean, if you're going to look at this breakdown, both of these guys, Hill and Bobrovsky, are both plus – they're above 935 save percentage. But Bobrovsky has seen more work. You can see that even in their goals against with Bob being a 2-2-1. He's seeing more shots. But they're very different goaltenders to me. You know, five on five, if Vegas can attack and waves on the rush, I think Bob's a little bit susceptible there because he likes to play a little bit further outside of his crease. Rebounds can happen, low to high or side to side plays. You got to get the puck in the air on Bob versus when you look at Hill, this is just a big passive goaltender that stays deep in his crease. You know, so for Florida, their objective is going to have to be with Hill, move the puck laterally, get it on and off the blade quickly, and stay around for rebounds. They do that well with Kachuk and his crew um, and the rest of them. But, to, again, to go towards Vegas' uh, biggest strength, it's rush. Bob's been pretty good on the rush. you got to change the angle if you're going to score on him that way. In zone, they haven't given up as much. So I, I do think, though, that if you're looking at Bobrovsky, he can continue this. It just matters so much on how that team plays in front of them, Frank. If they can clog up the neutral zone and keep Vegas from attacking in waves, I like Bobrovsky's chances of continuing and keeping it going. I was going to say, who has the better chance to keep it going? I think I think Bob, just based on even on his experience. Like Aiden Hill has been very good, but everybody, you're still waiting for that moment where Hill breaks down. He's been. Uh, that's much not more what insulated. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the moment that Bobrovsky breaks down because we've seen years of it now. We got to put a, we got to put a big old bet on this one. I think. Okay. I mean, it could I'm go. Down. You tell me what the stakes are. I think. Well, stakes. How about a steak? I'd like a steak. Oh, okay. Let's steak do that. Good. Big I old like steak. steak dinner. One look of these, me. maybe in Vegas. What do you look, think? I look at know. me. I, I like to eat. All right. So I'll, you say <laughs> that Bobrovsky has a better chance to keep it going. I'm gonna say Hill. We'll see who's left standing at the end of it. Game one, puck drop, 8 p.m. Eastern on Saturday night in Vegas. And today is media day, by the way, so stay tuned to social media and dailyfaceoff.com for some stories uh, coming from that Stanley Cup final media day as everyone is set to speak, including the GMs of both Florida and the Vegas Golden Knights. 